All right, we're on to example three. This is a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot, and this is where stem and leaf plots become really useful. So the following data represents the age of boys and girls that play netball. We're going to represent it as a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot, and what conclusions can you gather from this data? So we'll make some conclusions after we've made it. All right, now, usually you have a stem and a leaf, so, but we, we're not going to do that this time. We'll do it a little differently. So your stem goes in here and then the right side leaf can be for the girls and the left side leaf will be for the boys but we don't call them both leaf we we call it girls and boys so that when people look at it they know which leaf belongs to boys and which one belongs to girls right so when we look at these numbers we've got a single digit number i think that's going to be our smallest number i'm just having a quick look yep and we've also got to see how big the numbers get. Do they get to the 30s? Oh, yeah, we've got a 31. I think that'll be our biggest number. So we'll mark them. So basically our stem is going to range from 0 all the way to 3. Because we go from 9 for the girls, we'll put the 9 in, all the way up to 31 for the boys. All right, so we've actually done two of the numbers. We'll cross them off as we go. All right, let's focus on the boys first. Um, so there's no single digit numbers. Let's look at the tens, 16, 17, 18. All right, that's nice and simple. So 16, 17, 18, matching with the one. Notice we did them in order, but with the boys, because they're on the left side, we actually go in order from right to left. Okay, so we can cross these off now since we've done them. All right, next we'll do boys in the 20s, and it looks like the rest of them are all in 20. So we'll start with the number 20. One, two, three, there's actually four 20s. So we'll go one, two, three, four. And then we've got how many 21s? Two 21s, so we need two of them. Uh, we have a 22. And a 24. We're just going to go right out the edge. Two 25s. Five, five, and a 29. So I'm going to have to really just cram it in there. They should be all nicely equally spaced, but I've just run out of room at the end. Notice that they line up nicely in columns, the numbers. It's very important. All right, now let's look at the girls. So let's look at the tens. Um, Actually, first of all, we've got a 10 there, so that's going to go here. What else we got? We've got an 11, 13, an 18, a 14, 17, 13, 13, 18, 12. Lots in the 10s. Um, I'm going to put the 11 next, and then the 12 next. I've got to make sure there's no other 12s here. Yes. Now we've got 1, 2... Three 13 year olds. Okay, this is the age of people playing netball. So there's three 13 year olds playing netball. Okay, so we've got 14, a 14 year old playing netball, um, a 17 year old playing netball, and two 18 year olds playing netball. There we go. All right, now let's look at the 20s. Last of all, we've got a 20 there. We've got a 21-year-old, a 22-year-old, and a 23-year-old. Awesome. All right, now we've finished our back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot, and we're going to make some conclusions from the data. This is really useful because when you look at boys and girls and you compare them, you see that most of the girls that play netball are teenagers. Most of the boys that play netball are in their 20s. And I reckon that's good enough for our conclusion. Most of the girls who play netball are teenagers. And most of the boys 
are in their 20s.